Hello there. We're the Northeastern University Mars Rover Team, and we're thrilled to compete in this year's University Rover Challenge. We're proud to share with you our 2023 Mars Rover, Watney Mark IV. Our new 5052 aluminum chassis improves serviceability for onboard electronics and increases stability, reducing chassis rocking and lowering the center of mass. Our rocker bogey suspension and carbon fiber differential bar can reliably traverse sloped and rough terrain. To refine our tried and true 3D printed wheels, we've added fatigue testing and thermal modeling to our existing static FEA. Our wheels are printed out of TPU on low cost FDM printers, enabling a fast design cycle and extensive physical testing. Our curved spoke design is flexible enough to easily traverse rough terrain and durable enough to support our rover through many miles of driving. We've also run thermal simulations to ensure our batteries will remain under 60 degrees Celsius while mounted on the chassis. This year, we focused on improving the grip and lifting capacity of our arm. We held on to our heterogeneous torque motor setup and off-axis motors near the base of the arm, which reduced strain on joints further along the arm and lowered the center of mass. In order to reduce the load on lower axes during traversal, we introduced a mechanism to lock the motor shaft, allowing for unpowered position holding. We also overhauled the differential wrist by using pulleys to move the motors further up the arm, increasing the mechanical advantage at the wrist by 200%. Finally, we designed an all-new three-finger claw. Each finger has two degrees of freedom to grip a greater range of objects with interchangeable fingertips to enable soil collection. All these changes have been validated through multiple design reviews, FEA analyses, and initial testing with a mock equipment and servicing lander. In addition to inverse kinematics, we've devised a novel method of control using a scaled-down model. Iterated from last year's concept, this controller relays its position, puppeting the rover while providing operators with intuitive manipulation and unprecedented dexterity. The BLDC motors on the model arm also allow it to hold its position and can provide haptic feedback if the arm on board the rover collides with an object. Our rover is controlled by new iterations of our fully custom PCBs. All boards are controlled by STM32 microcontrollers, which interface with all of our sensors, motor drivers, battery management systems, and our updated onboard computer, the NVIDIA Orin. We've also continued using our custom CAN protocol for interboard communication after successfully switching from UART last year. We've also maintained uniform PCB sizing to enable stacking. Each PCB has been revised and simulated in LT Spice to ensure proper function and reliability for better performance this year. Using the information gained from simulation as well as the issues we faced last year, we are confident that our new electrical system is robust and ready for integration ahead of schedule. Because the previous year's arm-based challenge is collecting soil during competition, we've designed a claw to lift samples into a funnel leading to a splitter. At one end, a peristaltic pump transfers water that mixes with the soil and runs over paper test strips, testing for proteins, glucose, and fatty acids. At the other is a vial with a luciferous reagent that luminesces if the soil contains ATP. This luminescence is detected by a custom luminometer. Through our intuitive user interface, our team can reference sensor readings and camera images of the test strips to draw conclusions about the presence of extant or extinct life. Our team is also compiling a database of rocks, allowing us to classify samples with the help of statistical machine learning models. We've developed a custom RTSP-based server to stream video from the 10 cameras on our rover, allowing streams to be paused and resized dynamically. Our testing showed only 208 milliseconds of latency, even with 50% packet loss and only one megabit per second of bandwidth. This ensures we can stream all cameras at 1.25 kilometers using our directional and omnidirectional 2.4 gigahertz radios. We've redesigned our command and control interface based on operator feedback. This includes the addition of real-time sensor readouts, support for multiple monitors, a redesigned path planning interface, and safety watchdog indicators. These are displayed alongside our cameras to enable precise teleoperation. The rover achieves absolute localization by fusing odometry from a Z2i stereoscopic camera, differential GPS, and 9-axis IMU with dual extended Kalman filters. The Z is further used to detect large obstacles and uneven terrain, building up a cost map of the rover's environment for more reliable navigation to GNSS waypoints. Aruka detection works on multiple cameras across the rover, preventing the fiducials from going unseen. This year, NU Rover is working with Northeastern's UAV Club to tackle the autonomous challenge from the sky as well as the ground. We've developed a fully functional wooden prototype quadcopter, allowing for rapid iteration and fail-fast testing before manufacturing the final drone out of carbon fiber. This prototype has successfully demonstrated GPS waypoint missions of up to a kilometer. While iterating the propulsion and battery systems to provide longer flight time, we've been working on the advanced autonomy at Aruco detection and simulation. We are currently on track to implement these algorithms on a Raspberry Pi in our next prototype with full autonomous mission functionality by mid-March. Our team has finished manufacturing and testing for all of our subsystems. Over the coming months, we'll continue validating our design through integration testing and mock competition runs with local URC teams. We're confident we'll have a fully functional and robust rover come June. See you in Utah!